In this video, we'll be going over basic uh, trigonometry used for geometry. And um, we'll start off by doing the naming conventions for our triangle. So usually our triangle is named as we first go ahead and name the sides with lowercase a, b, and c. So we're going to do lowercase a, b, and c. Then we label the angle opposite a. So this angle, uppercase a. The angle opposite b is uppercase b. And the angle opposite c is uppercase C. And usually C is the hypotenuse and the big C is the right angle in a right triangle. So now we'll just go over what the basic trigonometric functions are. So the function called sine, so it's called sine, abbreviated S-I-N, and the sine of an angle, so sine of A, angle A, equals the opposite over hypotenuse. So what's the side opposite A? It's the side A. And hypotenuse is C no matter what. So sine A equals lowercase a over lowercase c. Next one is cosine. Spelled like this and abbreviated COS. COS, cos. So cosine of A equals the side adjacent to A over the hypotenuse. So if we look at A again, what is the side adjacent? So adjacent just means touching it. So B and C are touching it, but when we do cosine, touching just refers to the one that's not the hypotenuse. So it has to be B. Equals B, and the hypotenuse is C. And the last one that we really need to go over is tangent. Spelled like this, an abbreviated T-A-N. Tangent of an angle equals opposite over adjacent. So what is the opposite? We already know it's A. And what is the adjacent? We already know it's B. So it's A over B. So that's the basic trigonometric functions. And in the next video, we'll go over how to use them to solve a problem or two.